If you are working in the pharmaceutical industry, then you have heard of 21 CFR, but do you really understand what it covers, why it matters, and how to stay compliant? In this video, we are breaking down the real meaning of 21 CFR, the critical parts you must know, and how to implement them effectively in your facility. Let us know about 21 CFR first. 21 CFR stands for Title 21 of the Code of Federal Regulations, the official rulebook that governs food, drugs, and medical devices in the United States. Let's break this down. The CFR, Code of Federal Regulations, is a multi-volume set of legal documents that compile all federal rules. Title 21 of this document is regulated by the FDA and applies to the pharmaceutical, biotech, and medical device industries. The important point to note is that these rules don't apply to U.S. best companies. If your company exports to the U.S., these regulations still apply. Think of 21 CFR as your day-to-day -day operating manual, and compliance with it is a legal requirement, not a recommendation. Now let us know how 21 CFR is organized. Title 21 is divided into chapters, parts, sections, and subsections. Chapters are high-level divisions. Most pharmaceutical regulations fall under Chapter 1 FDA. Parts focus on specific areas of control, like GMP, labeling, and records. Sections provide the actual rules and expectations. For example, 21 CFR Part 211.22 talks about the responsibilities of the Quality Control Unit. 21 CFR Part 211.100 covers process control procedures. There are over 1,000 pages of regulations in Title 21, but don't worry. We'll focus on what matters most for pharma professionals. Key Parts of 21 CFR for Pharmaceuticals Let's dive into the critical parts that you will deal with in pharmaceutical manufacturing. Part 210 GMP for Manufacturing, Processing, Packing, or Holding These are general GMP definitions and scope. Defines terms like active ingredient, in-process material, and control procedures lays the foundation for all pharmaceutical GMP regulations. Part 211 GMP for Finished Pharmaceuticals This is the core of pharmaceutical manufacturing compliance. Key topics covered are Personnel qualifications to 11.25 employees must be trained in GMP. Facilities and equipment to 11.42 and to 11.63. Proper design and maintenance are required. Production and process controls to 11.100. Procedures must be written and followed. Laboratory controls to 11.160 to 11.194. Covers stability testing, specifications, and OOS investigations. Records and reports to 11.180 to 11.198. Includes batch records, complaints, and distribution documentation. Real-life impact. Non-compliance with Part 211 is one of the most cited reasons for FDA 483 and warning letters. Part 11, Electronic Records and Signatures. Ensures electronic data is trustworthy and traceable. Covers audit trails, system validation, and restricted access. Especially important for companies using LIMS, EQMS, or MES software. Always validate your software and train staff on electronic documentation protocols. Parts 600 to 680 Biologics. Focus on vaccines, blood products, and biotech drugs. Address sterility lot release, viral safety, etc. These are more advanced and apply if you work in biologics manufacturing. Now let us know why 21 CFR matters. 
Why does this massive regulatory document matter so much? Here is why 21 CFR compliance is essential. Ensures drug safety and efficacy for patients. Helps maintain data integrity. Reduces the risk of product recalls. Is essential for product approvals, NDA, ANDA, BLA. Builds trust with regulators and the public. Prevents regulatory penalties and facility shutdowns. Non-compliance can result in FDA Form 483s Warning letters Import alerts Seizure of products Even criminal charges in severe cases Staying compliant with 21 CFR Compliance is not a one-time project, it's a continuous process. Here are the best practices successful pharma companies use. 1. A standard operating procedures. Align them with each relevant section of 21 CFR. Review and revise regularly. 2. Ongoing GMP training. Ensure all employees understand their compliance responsibilities. Use real-world examples to keep training practical. 3. Process validation. Ensure that equipment and processes work reliably. This includes cleaning validation, method validation, and equipment qualification. 4. Document control. Every record should be legible, dated, signed, and easily retrievable. Always use controlled documents with proper versioning. 5. Part 11 Compliance. Make sure electronic systems are validated. Access should be secure, with proper audit trails and user roles. 6. Internal audits. Conduct periodic audits aligned with 21 CFR requirements. Use them to identify gaps before the FDA does. Make compliance a part of your daily culture, not just something you prepare for before inspections. Let's recap the most important points. 21 CFR is the legal rulebook for the pharmaceutical industry. Key parts to know. 210, 211, and 11, these apply to almost every pharma company. Compliance is not just the QA department's job, it's everyone's responsibility. Staying audit ready at all times is the best protection against FDA actions. Real-world scenario example. Imagine this. The FDA walks in for a surprise inspection. You are calm. Why? Because. Your standard operating procedures are aligned with 21 CFR Part 211. Your electronic batch records comply with Part 11. Staff are trained and logs are up to date. Documentation is well organized and instantly accessible. You pass the inspection, not by chance, but because your team lives and breathes compliance. This is the power of understanding and applying 21 CFR in real life. If you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to Pharma Guideline for more expert level pharma training. Join channel membership to watch member-specific videos and courses.